Beats and Basics tutorial. Hi, I'm Nick from Beats and Basics. Thanks for watching this jewelry tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make these cool chandelier statement earrings. And I'll show you what you need. For these earrings you're gonna need the following materials. Head pins, earring hooks, crimp beads, ball chain end caps, 4mm jump rings and a 6mm jump ring steel thread, two tassels, two gemstone beads, two packets of spacer beads and two packets of the 6x4 faceted beads and you're also going to need flat pliers, cutting pliers and round pliers. So for these earrings we're going to start with the middle part. So you're going to take your head pin, put on a spacer bead, the gemstone bead and another spacer bead. Take the end of the head pin, put them between your round pliers and just fold it around till you have a nice round eye, like this. Slide down your beads and then cut your head pin a little bit less than one centimeter. And also make a small eye on the other side. Now you just need to make sure that the eyes are aligned so you can see this one's flat, this is a bit more turned. So they need to be aligned, so just take both ends between your pliers and just turn it a little, little bit, like this. That's the middle part of your earring. I already made a small example so you can see exactly what I'm doing. You're gonna cut about 15 centimeters of your steel thread. And we're gonna start with the bottom part. So I'm going to start here. So that's a Faceted bead, spacer bead, and another turquoise, gold. Really like this color combination. So I've got four faceted beads and three spacer beads. And now I'm going to skip the spacer bead and continue straight with the faceted bead. So that's this part on the bottom. And because you're going to attach your tassel later with a golden jump ring, you don't need to put a spacer bead in between those two. So that's four more faceted beads and three more spacer beads. So that's the bottom part of your earring and now we're gonna put on the centerpiece. So just put your thread to, through both ends of your eyes that you just made and now we're gonna continue on each side four more faceted beads and three more spacer beads Now I've done this design with four beads here and four beads on the top. You can also use three if you want to have a bit more 
round design or five if you want to have it a bit more pointy so you can just play with that and see what you like best So that's all my beans and now you're going to put a golden crimp bead on each side and we're going to use that for our ball chain and caps So this, it's not like, it's not really a tricky part, but you have to be kind of precise. So you have your crimp beads on the end and just take your flat pliers, slide it up about one or two millimeters. If you're going to um, close it straight ne like next to the beads you won't have enough room to put on your ball chain end caps and we still need to put our tassel here on the bottom so if it's too tight you won't have any room for that so just slide up your spacer bead about, about one or two millimeter and then this is really important make sure your crimp bead um, the thread is not in the middle of your crimp bead, but on one of the sides because you need to cut off a part of your crimp bead. And if it's in the middle, you'll cut through your thread. So just make sure, I hope you can see it on film. So the thread is on the left side of the crimp bead, so I can cut that off later. Just make sure it's good and closed so the same on the other side slide up your beads a little bit but not too much so they don't touch the crimp bead and again take your pliers lift your crimp bead about one or two millimeters pull your thread to one side and then close it like this and now we're going to cut off a part of the crimp bead just be careful you don't cut through your thread so we're just gonna cut that off the thing is otherwise it won't fit in your ball chain and cap Now we're going to cut off the thread, so cut it off as close to your crimp bead as possible. Your ball chain end cap between your pliers and instead of the last ball of your ball chain, you're going to put in your crimp bead and close it just make sure it's properly aligned so you have this small hole that you can use for your jump rings if it's a bit crooked you won't have enough space for your jump ring so just make sure that it's nice and tight and we're going to do the same on the other side so take your ball chain cap between your pliers put it over your crimp bead and then close them mm -hmm. So you're getting a bit of the idea of the earring already you're gonna take a four millimeter jump ring and attach that to each side of your 
ball chain caps. Just close your jump rings. And now we're going to take another jump ring to attach it to your earring. And I'm using these extra jump rings because if you're going to, if you would attach it straight to your earring, it'll be a bit crooked. So if you just use an extra jump ring, you won't have that problem. So open up your jump ring. Each side through and then you're gonna close this jump ring as well so now you can see you have just this extra jump ring in the middle that you can use to attach it to your earring hook so open up your earring hook a little bit Close it again. Perfect. So even like this, the earring is already pretty cool. If you like, you can make it longer. You can maybe attach a small charm or a drop bead just over there. And you can attach nothing or whatever you want on the bottom. I'm just going to use a tassel in the same color as my faceted beads. And I'm going to attach that using a six millimeter jump ring so open that with your pliers put it through the middle of the top of your tassel and we're gonna attach that between those two faceted beads that we skipped a spacer bead so close your jump ring and then just turn it a little bit so the opening of your jump ring is tucked away inside your tassel. And that's your earring finished. So I really like this design. It's really like sparkly and cool, nice for a party, party outfit. I also made them in black just to show you how that looks black and silver so it's the same this uh, same design but just with some other colors you get a really different feel and we have loads of different colors of tassels and beads and even gemstone beads we have those in loads of colors so you can make it exactly as you like I hope you like this one. If you want to make it yourself, you can buy all the materials in our web shop, www.beatsandbasics.com. And if you want to share your creations, you can do that on Instagram using hashtag Beats and Basics. We love to see all the things you make. If you want to see even more jewelry tutorials, subscribe to our channel and hopefully see you next time. Bye bye!